Hi, I'm Bolaj and I'm here today to talk about my two favorite topics, cars and Lego Technic. Cars are everywhere in the Lego world, it all starts with wheels and there are plenty of them and they are always trying to escape, seriously, I think they are training for the Lego Olympics. You can easily start with a few bricks connected with the familiar studs and BAM, you'll have a cool vehicle to zoom around with. But wait, there's more, I have a few more chassis lying around. Building with Lego isn't just about stacking bricks up high like a tower of pizza boxes. You can build sideways and even upside down to create some seriously awesome assemblies. And now for the really cool part. These cars offer tons of detail and advanced building techniques in a small package. We are talking about brackets, jumper plates and so much more. But there's one big problem, this car only goes straight. Ouch. Note to self, need brakes. But don't worry, there's a solution. We can go bigger and add even more pieces for more detail. And here comes the magic trick using lego technic elements check this out here's a chassis made mostly of studded pieces but to add some cool features like steering we've already used lego technic parts here's a cross axle a universal joint and tada we have working steering with a steering wheel how cool is that how can we make it more stable and how can it move on its own well take a look at this a chassis made from lego technic elements See how the beams and pins form a three-dimensional structure with super secure connections? This thing is sturdy. And we've got propulsion, pullback motors that make the whole thing super fun. Ok, one thing is back, there's no steering. So let's go even bigger and add even more cool stuff. Here's a larger chassis with lots of amazing elements. First up, independent suspension on all four wheels with these awesome shock absorbers. They're steering again, but this time with more gears and the different gear sizes make the steering wheel turn more, it's like magic. At the rear, the wheels don't roll freely, they are connected by these CV joints with a differential in the middle. A differential is super useful when the car is turning because it handles the speed difference between the inside and outside wheels. And what else have we got here? That's right, working engine with pistons and everything. Ok, in the LEGO world it's a bit different, this time the wheels drive the engine. But there's a solution for that too, we can use electronic components and have a motorized remote controlled vehicle. This is the LEGO Technic Porsche GT4 e performance race car, or rather this is the chassis to show you the part that makes all the exciting things possible, the integrated hub. It has a rechargeable battery, a motor for the steering, motors with multiple outputs at the rear for drive and integrated lights. It's like having your own mini race car in your hands. The way the lights work is very cool. We have these flexible transparent cables that are connected to the LEDs of the hub and also to the lights like here at the rear and they just work. The end result looks fantastic, a real electric Porsche with doors to open and an ingenious solution to keep the doors closed and when you turn it on you will realize how much fun it is to drive. And it's pretty fast when you drive it around the house so you would better practice. Become a LEGO Insiders Club member to see even more tricks with LEGO Technic and this set.